you guys, it is Sunday morning. Uh, hold on, baby, I'm gonna show them your foot, my poor baby. Let me turn this TV down, y'all. I'm watching Hoarders. I'm watching Hoarders to inspire me to clean up today. Come here, baby. Yesterday, what happened to him, y'all heard me say in my last vlog that we went to the park and he had something wrong with his foot and I couldn't figure out. He kept saying, I'm saying I burnt my foot, I burnt my foot. And I was thinking, there's nothing that can burn your foot. Sorry, I'm a lip. There's nothing that could burn your foot at the park. It's hot, but it's not that hot. Now out here, like in the mid summertime, 100 degrees, you can't walk outside with no shoes on. But right now, right now it's 70s and 80s. So then I said, well, come here, baby. I said, come sit down, come sit down. <laughs> I said, well, what color was the floor? Cause he said I burnt it on the ground. I said, what color was the floor then? He said, red. I, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I said red and I started to think about it. I'm like the playground is red. The playground is made out of metal. So yeah, 80 degrees. I think it was like 85, 85 degrees. That hot sun, you will, he will. So he walked on that playground floor with no shoes on, bare feet. And the soles of your feet are soft and very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Poor thing. And so yeah, that burnt his feet. That burnt, like I'm pretty sure as, as soon as he put his foot down, he put it up, but it burnt it. So let me show them, boo boo. As put took me at the water. Someone picked you up, who was it? it was it a, an adult? Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me that, an adult picked you up? Yeah, and, and brings me at, at the water. You didn't tell me that, was it a man or a woman? Uh, I don't know. You can't tell what, what gender they were? You just saw, you just, did they see you crying? Is that why? Not hurt. It doesn't hurt anymore. Let me look at it. Yeah, look at my fat legs. Oh, look at his little feet. Okay, it was right here. And then it moved right there. Well, that's because you put the whole foot down. Look at his little fat feet. You put the whole foot down, boo boo, on it. So right there, it's, it's still just a little red right there on the side. But it's okay. We're gonna take it off so your feet can grow. JB, JB, JB. No one wants to hear your madness. It's Friday. It's not Friday. It's Sunday. Sunday. Church day, which low key really isn't. It's Sabbath, and I know I'm gonna. <coughs> I'm wheezing. I'm about to uh, upset some um, super safe saints. The Sabbath is actually on that? Saturday. That's a bad word. Uh oh, I said upset. Did I say the other word? I'm sorry. If I, I if I did say the P word, I'm sorry. He Hold on, baby. Don't open it up yet. Yeah, I got. I just got back from the gym. Can open yes, we got a package from Mystic. Ooh, girl. <laughs> I was having a bad week. It's Sunday, it's the last day. It's been a rough week. Go ahead and open it, baby. They can't see you right here, though. I hope this is a meal. Girl, it's a soft hood. You think that's gonna fit on my head, girl? Soft hooded dryer. So look, Miss T, my husband's talking. Y'all, I tried those curl formers. Now, you put something on my back? I've tried those curl formers now twice. I cannot get it to work. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try when my hair, as soon as I get out the shower and practice it then, I think that, I don't know, I don't know. I've watched Nicki May's video. I've watched uh, Shari J's video. This coming Friday, so it'll come, I'm gonna try to do the curl formers the end of April, so the end of this month. Yeah, oh Lord, y'all. I tell you what, I have the best subbies in the world. Look, T, I didn't even realize that she had including, I know baby, she had included a mattifying, stay matte, makeup primer. This is just what I needed to grow, because I was like, I need to go get some primer for my face, because my pores have been horrible. You don't look like a teapot, no. You don't look like a teapot to me at this. <laughs> <laughs> so my box is out. You can't wait till we get your hair cut, baby. My my box is empty, look. Very good. Oh my life. <laughs> it's changing every day. 
This is a cover by the Cranberries. Oh, rest in peace. The lead singer passed away earlier this year. Can y'all see me? I know the camera is like, I'm in my closet because JP's in the living room. He's on the couch, rocking himself to sleep. Yeah, my baby still, still takes a nap, you know? I think it's because he just sleeps crazy. And he wakes up so early. JB wakes up between five and six every day. Everyone's telling me that it's gonna get better once he goes to school every day, which will honestly be in a couple of more weeks. I'm kinda nervous about him going to summer camp at a big boy school, quote unquote, but he'll be fine um okay this is all of my makeup yeah this is a bit much i'll admit to that um this is my train case this right here was on top of this this is a one two three four five drawer and then i have a four no three drawer back there um this is pretty big actually so i want to go through immediately toss the stuff I don't want and then start to organize it. So I'm all organized. Let me zoom out some. Okay, this zoom out, Lord. I'll organize. This is my tower. I purchased this tower through through Wayfair for like 30 bucks. And again, this goes on top of here. So up here I have my all my correctors, concealers, mostly LA colors. I didn't even take this off. Oh well. And then my um liquid lip glosses. Okay. Loose eyeshadow palettes and single eyeshadow um i love these these are very pigmented i did a review on these i love this stuff love 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 bell bell pierre it's like an italian brand um and then these are mostly milani nyx um one called wild and crazy i used to get a lot of my makeup through a website called cherry what is it called? Cherry Couture? I think it was called. Well, I think that's what it was called, but they've shut that site down. It's been a couple of years. Um, this is mostly face products. I have my bronzers, my highlighters, um, face powders, some concealers. Oh, hold on, y'all. What the hell? What am I going to do with these? Lord, hold on, y'all. I, I just not saw those. Those were Iman sticks, which I'll show you in a minute. Put my makeup brushes to the side so that I can clean them. Here are all of my Wet n Wild palettes. I have nearly all. <laughs> this is sad. I have nearly all of them. They are bad. I mean, I love them, um, and I've used all of them with the exception of this one. I don't think I've tried this one yet. Um, for going out on Friday, I'm doing a gold and green look, which I will be um, recording. And I'm gonna show you what lip I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do. Y'all know I'm I'm known for for mixing my lip colors, girl. So, yeah, that's Wet and Wow. This one is just a mixture of different eyeshadows. I have my Wet and Wow, more Milani, LA Colors, Maybelline, L'Oreal. Um, this is a Wet and Wow palette that kind of rivals the Revealed Two palette. All right. So that's the tower. On top of the tower, I have some my. Lipsticks that I wear often are up here. All of my foundations, some of my makeup brushes, something that my sister made me. <laughs> then I have some more single eyeshadows here that I got from the beauty supply store. Covergirl back there. Um, this one is just a bunch of random lipsticks, um, extra makeup brush, excuse me, extra powder. Anyway. This is full of, I have uh, Coastal Sense makeup palettes. I have blush palette, brow palettes, Iman sticks. Look, let me tell you something. A couple of years ago, they stopped selling Iman in the altars here, all of Phoenix. I cleaned up shop. Now this is not from there. I mean, this is not, that's been a couple of years, but I love Iman. Ever since then, I've been hooked on Iman. Eyebrow palettes, um, 
what do you call these eyeliner all right y'all and again my makeup brushes okay so let me show you this and this is what i'm gonna throw away i mean that is not bad <laughs> Um, so I'm putting aside some of the makeup I'm going to be wearing for my get ready with me video. Let me tell you something. This right here, I think are eyeshadows, but I use them as highlighter and bronzers. Look at that. Look at that. It is so pretty. So I'm definitely going to be using this city color. I purchased this through Amazon. That's going to go to the side. Um, and as far as lipsticks go, I'm gonna layer my lipsticks, lipsticks, excuse me, to create a nude bronze look. But I have this yellow gold that I'm thinking about, and I can tell I've, I've done this before. Excuse my nails, y'all. I'm getting my nails done um, tomorrow. Anyway, um, you really can't see it. So what I do typically, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe this off clearly. I will put on a nice red, and then put this. It's almost like a yellow. Can you see that? Sorry. It's almost like a, it's like a yellow gold almost. It is so pretty, but then I'm also gonna go to a little bit of this orange. Really, really pretty. It's gonna be really, really pretty. I'll make it work, I'll make it work. Hey you guys, it is a midweek. It is Tuesday. I am blessed and highly favored, amen. Um, I know, I know, y'all feel free. You are so extra, I am extra. Um, I'm going my way to the nail salon. I do have another cooking video I'm going to be recording today. At this point, I'm recording about one cooking video a week. Um, actually, about two a week, but I'm not releasing them. Girl, so I have a buttermilk chicken tender. Oh, that chicken tenders, chicken tenders were so good. I have a buttermilk pie and an egg pie coming up. And um, Mexican-style cornbread. And yeah, just whatever I feel like recording, I'll record for you guys and post those up in a couple of more weeks. And uh, let me go ahead, go get my nails done. Um, work, got caught up on work, and JB's at school, of course. Um, hold on, y'all. Hey guys, I got my nails done. It is officially hot as hell in Phoenix. My car says 96. Hello? Mama, did, I, I didn't call you, did you call me? You called me. <laughs> Look, I put my phone in my purse, so it must have doubted you. Okay. Mama. Mama. I'll call you back. I didn't mean to call you. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Lord, child, my phone. I called my mama. So, um... Got my nails done to look like my wedding nails. They're so pretty. Miss Tina did them. Y'all, Miss Tina, poor Miss Tina. She's in a, a depressing mood because her youngest daughter moved to Oregon. And her daughter was telling me when I was here last time getting my nails done, her daughter was telling me how she was excited to move. And she's 23, 24 years old. And she's just, you know, ready to, you know, venture out. Now, girl, these are traditional people. Most. Asians in general regardless of you know if they're from India if they're from Vietnam Korea whatever your kids ain't supposed to live leave like that especially your girl especially your youngest so um yeah this is new for her and so anyway um but I was kind of <laughs> low-key looking at her like me and Miss Tina like what are you talking about she's saying how because she's older. Miss Tina's like in her late 50s, okay? Not old. She's just older. She's in her late 50s. Not old enough to be my mom. And so she was saying how she's going to retire in five more years. And she's been saving money and so forth. She's had, she has um, $15,000 saved up. I'm not, trying to tell, I'm not trying to tell the woman's business, but this is what she's telling me, right? She's like, so far I got $15,000 saved up. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, oh, okay. But I'm thinking, you, you're going to have to do a lot more nails and feet to save up and for a retirement within five more years but you know this is gonna be my husband's anniversary mm -hmm. gift um i purchased this frame it's like an eight by eleven frame for 99 cents at goodwill and then the anniversary gift for the one year is paper at least the symbolism is paper so i cut out i printed excuse me these um maps of where we met and then were places that we visited. We have here Denton, Dallas. Uh, I try to put it in order, chronological order, um, but not really. We have California. Excuse JB. We have 
Minneapolis, we have Las Vegas, and then last but not least, we have Phoenix to where we live at now. So I don't know, I think this may be too cheesy, so I, don't, I think I'm gonna leave that off. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that off. Um, now I could have done our names and stuff, but I didn't wanna do that either. And I just have this poster board here that I'm going to place here and I'm going to paint this black. Yeah, I was gonna paint it white, but no, I think black would make it pop out more. This entire project cost me uh, $5, because this was $2 and some change, this is a dollar, and the printout was like $1.50. Yes, $5 anniversary gift. <sighs> All right, so this is the finished. Um, oh, the imperfectionist in me has no idea why I did this. I accidentally glued this one down a little, a little lower, but it's okay. And this is what it looks like up. Um, again, painted the frame and glued this on. This is cute and simple. Look, if I have time tomorrow, I'm gonna repaint this. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna, but you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna redo this. Cause I, I, I can't, no, 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 I have to redo it. Yeah, but this is cute. So we have Denton, Dallas, Las Vegas, California, Minnesota, Minneapolis, and Phoenix. Really, really cute, really, really cute. Good morning, you guys. It is, um, J, JB, tell them what day it is. Friday and like this one. Mm-hmm, girl, it is Friday. And, and I was gonna get another calm down. track master. Calm down. Oh yeah, you're gonna get another track master. Cause JB didn't cry the other day, y'all. He has been doing a little bit of uh theatrical crying when I drop him off. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. When I'm dropping him at school, he's been crying. Hold on, y'all. I have on my coat, girl, because it's it's cold. We got a coat front. Cold. I'm country. It's when it cold. hits when it hits anything below 70, you, you got to cover your hair, you got to cover your feet, you got to cover your, uh, yeah, you got to cover yourself. So let me see what the temperature is. And um, depending on how, the, more than likely it's going to get warm. It's 55 right now, 55. Depending on how warm it gets later on, it's going to change up my outfit. I have on my perm brush, y'all. I have no chill. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See, this weather's crazy. It's going to get up to 79. Having perm rods because as I said, I don't care. Look, I sacrifice in the daytime so I can slay at night. I told y'all that. Did I tell y'all that? Yes. So I'm gonna be taking him to go get his hair cut later on, just like this. No, 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 no. Don't care. I'm gonna let her know the same thing. And she sees me, she follows me on Instagram, the barber. She knows what I look like when I put it together. But anyway, on our way to Walmart, no, no. I started working last night to get some no, stuff done. What is this? Oh, Christine, girl. Christine be getting into work early early on Friday morning. I started working. This is the thing. When you work from home, you're able to control a little bit of your schedule, depending on what's, what projects come up. So, since I know I had stuff to do today, and tonight my husband and I are going out, and we leave early to go out to uh, Paradise Valley. Um, I'm going to make two faces for the camera? Yes, always. <laughs> Always do I when you're not doing it. Mm, I don't know what that is. Oh, you got married. That's mm -hmm. right. You got married last year? In January. January. Oh, okay.
what my hair looks like. Now, I fluffed more than I should have because I wanted big hair. Um, the review is coming up. Yeah, see that one I should have left alone after two or three times. I literally unraveled these curls four, four or five times like that one. Yeah, so um, very pretty. Let me show you what I'm wearing. Um, let me just turn the camera around like this. I mean, this child is into my nerves. Just a cute little floral and some jeans. Aren't these cute? Let me show you guys JB's hair. Isn't it cute? Turn around, baby, so they can see you. Uh, Turn all the way. Left, back, right. You did because the mohawk is supposed to go down longer. Can you put your head down? Ding, 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 ding. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday. Look at this point. This vlog is gonna go from the Sunday before to the now this Sunday. It's too it's early, girl. Let me go ahead and get my Every coffee going. Day. So yesterday I had a, a mini meltdown. JB has tons of toys, y'all. He has toys. I know he. I know you had a lot of toys because whenever a child would come over here, whenever Mackenzie came over here, or whenever Thomas from across the street would come over here, they would be like in awe at how many toys he had. I threw out three bins of toys, and he still has two and a half bins of toys. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. We're. Oh, I know some people like my, I, when I get, get my husband, on hold on, baby. We're going to look at it. I know some women, not all. Some women were like, well, I need a man that's going to take care of all the check. Let me tell you something. Finances are the one thing that we do not and will not ever argue about. He takes care of the larger bills. If you want to know, it's none of y'all business, but he takes care of the larger bills, but I manage the household bills. This is how I was raised. This is how we do it. He takes care of the mortgage and, you know, the big electricity bill and all that, but I manage the bills. Does that make sense? I pay for some of the small bills, but I manage everything. I know where everything, everything is in both of our names. I manage everything. You know, that's what we do. But what was the point? Every now and then, I I'll fourth off the bill when we go out to eat. I'll drop some money down because I'm okay with that. Um, but most of the time he does take care of it. Um, and then whoever takes care of the bill for lunch, then the other person is responsible for the daycare fee or whatever, you know. So that's how we do it and it works for us. So, but look, when we got the bill, I'm like, you had $30 worth of drinks? You need, and it was happy hour. I'm like, you need to. So no, it was really nice. It was really good, but look, I gave him the card while we were out. Girl, I could not stop laughing. He, I noticed, I was like, why is it taking you so long to read it? Are you translating it in, in English? I mean, what are you doing? So he reads it and he kind of he kind of giggled. And then he said, did you read this card? He asked me, excuse me. He's like, did you read this card before you gave it, before you picked it out? And I kind of looked at him like, what is he talking about? And I'm like, yeah, I read the inside. So he proceeds to read the front of the card, girl. It's a card for a same-sex couple. It was said something like, uh, I'm glad to have someone who is strong and sexy and everything that a, what, what did it say? Everything that a man, we laughed so hard at that. Cause I was like, I clearly, I said it was a, it was a, a cute neutral colors. I like the color scheme. Well, well, and here's my outfit, you guys. I know you really can't see. Let me turn on some lights. Is that better? This dress I got from um, the Goodwill, $6.99. Isn't this cute? Really, really cute. I was gonna pair it with a yellow slim um, belt, but this thing is a little, it's form-fitting, so yeah, it'll do, it'll do. And this is what my hair is looking like. Simple black necklace and some earrings. Let me go get the baby. Come on, boo-boo, can you? Can you just look once at the so cute? So I say, yeah, you don't have to wear a bow tie every Sunday. He's playing. <laughs> so precious. All right, you guys. Y'all take care. Can you say bye? He's letting us in. No, they would let us, y'all. We're outside of Papa Do's and on our way. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm I'm frustrated and I'm tired. So I mean you can be just go home, JB, because I'll just eat something there. Um, came up here to Papa Do's, which is like 10 minutes away from my house. Of course, every, why do every black person come up here all the time? It's good, but it ain't, it's not like the Papa Do's back home. I will say this. Anyway, the, the manager, the water. he touched the water. The manager was basically like, oh, he can't bring that shake in here. Cause he has a milkshake from McDonald's. I said, okay, that's fine. I said, is it okay, is it okay with his little snacks? 
and she was like, um, are y'all here for a birthday party? I said, no. She's like, well, we have a kid's menu. We have chicken. We have, I said, he doesn't eat any of that. That's why I bring his own snacks. So they're like, no. So it's, it's all right. It's their rules. You know, I don't, if, I don't have to patronize here. I can go somewhere else, you know, that it will accept him bringing his food. So I really had my mouth set on some catfish. Oh, I really do when I touch the water. So He's worried about touching the dang on fountain water and I want some food. Baby, we're gonna go get some food, okay?